Uh, okay. How do people grow their Instagram into a huge following, but they have only 10 to 15 posts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if they are selling their account, I assume it is likely not organic. How do they do it? Do they simply buy fake likes, comments, and followers to sell it? Good question. Sometimes it could be both. People have bought likes, but um, what was that? In that um, we were watching this video, and this guy literally just made his own theme account with like literally what five posts. Are oh, talking about? Uh, and grew it to like a couple million, like couple million followers. Yeah. Um. And it was all organic. Like he from took the high you. Life. Yeah, the high life. They're a travel. They're a travel. Mm -hmm. Travel channel vlog. Yeah. Yeah. So and they and they demonstrated how to grow your Instagram organically. With, organically, how to get a hundred something or a million followers within forty eight hours. Mm -hmm. What they did was they posted, you know, the best uh, content and uh, that was already performing well on on the search. And what they did was they just reposted that on their Instagram. And then they created a channel trailer and from there what they did is that they reached out to a whole bunch of already well-known Instagram accounts that have about like 100k, a million, like very high followings. What they did was give, they gave them the trailer, the channel trailer, and they also paid them. Mm -hmm. So there's that route. If you have the budget to pay these high-end accounts, probably 300, 400, 500 bucks to get those, those followers, go for it. So that's a, the genuine way to go about it. But if you don't have the money, like that the other way, this other person uh, may have done it. And what a lot of people do is they buy followers, uh, they buy likes, and they buy comments. And those are the two ways in terms of buying it. You want to do genuine, no budget, and you want to do. You're gonna need two, more than 10 to 15 posts. Yeah, or if you want to just do 10 to 15 posts, the it say you do hypothetically, you want to do 10 to 15 posts. It's, the content better be re really, really good, and then you gotta do a shit ton of, of engagement. That means ta uh, going to other people's profiles, getting involved with the community, commenting on them, and, and I'm not talking about spamming, writing like thumbs up emojis. Actually commenting. Actually, yeah. Reacting to, like let's say you're commenting on someone's picture at Disneyland. Yeah. Like literally say, oh my god, I love this ride. Yeah, so and the actual social media yeah yeah actually so. be social about it so that that's There's how you can no go. way to like and the fact about about it is that you're probably gonna it's gonna be an insanely slow process yeah it it's it, instagram is not what it was back in 2013 mm -hmm. or 14. Uh, so it's good because there's so many people now. So if you wanna, if you want fast growth, mm -hmm. and there's only so much like the right hashtags yeah. can do for you. Like it, yeah, it could get you visible enough, but yeah, so how visible is visible enough? Yeah, and another way too is to collaborate with other people. Mm -hmm. So like go, you gotta either shout out for shout out. So one of those 15 posts can be a shout out from another, uh, from another uh, Instagrammer right. or. You can be up there for like an hour and then you can take it off. So. Or what I've done by accident is I took a photo. This is a long time ago. I there There's a makeup brand that's like super new. It's all lipstick and um, they released their first shade. Um, I made a time-lapse video and also like I took a couple of photos to accompany it. And I, you know, literally said, hey, like, you know, I listed all the products they used and one of them was that. and. They reposted me, and after that, I got a couple follows, and mm -hmm. that's actually what prompted me to be like, oh, and also like a bit of nudging from this guy. So that's actually, oh, I can probably do this again. This is a slow growth. I haven't bought any followers or likes, or and I've also gotten a couple reposts um, since then too. Like again, from other makeup products, from other um, like brands that have hit me up to be like an ambassador or. So I think bouncing off that. Um, if you've got a talent, if you're a graphic designer, if you uh, do video, if you do makeup, or if you, if, if you just if, look good, or if you just overall look good, or you know, if you even if you're cutting haircuts, doing hair, you can use that as leverage to provide value to the influencers. So if you don't have the monetary means to pay an influencer, offer them your service. Like say, like hey, I make I'm a badass video editor. I can create. 5, 10, 20 dope videos, all you would really need is that is one video for them to feature you mm -hmm. and then you would get all, uh, you, you would be able to leverage uh, that attention. So you, uh, so there's nothing wrong with trying to barter your talents 
in exchange for the attention that you want. So this is like one of those things like should I why should I work for free? This is if you want your Instagram followers to get up, that's that's, what, that's one of the ways. Um, just I guess just can't cut along too. So recap: buy inf influencers, you can either buy, buy them, and the next one is buying bot followers. Next is commenting and engaging, mm -hmm. and the fourth one, which I think what she uh, which she brought on was reaching out to influencers, uh, but offering value through mm -hmm. your talents. Yeah. So she she does makeup really well. She tagged all these the companies that she did, and if the content is One good, they'll repost it. They'll repost it. So providing great value to them, I think, is a great uh, way to go about it. And method three and four are the best ways to go. Especially if you don't have a budget. Am I done? Yeah. Okay. It's all, you have beard. I can't. I can't okay. do that.